Hi, welcome to another new video. So in today's video, we'll be talking about a new series of uh, super granulation colors from Shemink Oridum Aquarelle, and that's the Desert Series. Desert Series colors are mostly browns, yellows, and orange. Um, so yeah, I think it's kind of interesting to go through what colors um, they are and how they actually look. We start with the color Desert Orange. Um, so this color is uh, made of uh, two pigments, um, PY159 and PBR33. So um, PY159 is something that we already know, uh, which is the volcano yellow uh, that we have. I have uh, reviewed um, several months, weeks back. And then uh, PBR33 is mahogany brown. It's a, a unique brown color uh, that um, Sri Ming has. Um, not many other uh, brands has it. It's like a kind of an opaque but um, granulating brown color, which um, is also used in many of the uh, super granulating colors. So namely, when you look at the label, you will see that it is actually a semi-transparent uh, color. It's, it has got five stars in the light fastness rating, and it's supposed to be semi-staining staining, and of course granulating. When we look at the swatch of Desert Orange, um, I normally, normally what I do for swatches is I will swatch it from a high concentration to a low concentration. This would be kind of diluted and this would be more like neat or I use less water. And then um, I will compare the lines um, before and after um, the color is uh, put, the paint is done, it's paint on. So if you compare the color of these two lines, this is before, this is after, you actually see that the parts partially, the line is partially covered. So it's kind of semi, if you use it thickly, it's kind of semi-transparent or semi-opaque. Um, and when you look at the uh, paint in water test and the water in paint test, for the water in paint test, you can't really see much of a difference. Uh, except that it, you can see that brown um, particles being pushed out around like the water ponding. And, and for the um, water in the paint in water, you could see the brown coming down certain areas and the, 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 it separates out into some parts of the yellow. So you do see that separation when you use it quite dilute uh, in a dilute manner um, in, in a mixture, you know, in, in a, like a water, in a paper that is kind of wet with water. So if you like to see the separation effect, um, I think you can, you should use it rather dilute in a dilute manner. Um, because I think mahogany brown is, um, if, if you notice, mahogany brown is actually a little bit more opaque and the colors kind of, um, if you use it thickly, it's going to look kind, kind of uh, flat. So let's look at the scrubbing test. So apparently this color, um, it's supposed to be semi-staining. So let's see if that is true. So I'm trying to just scrub off. I think it's possible to wipe, to scrub off a little bit. And um, yeah, but it's not, I can't restore the paper uh, color uh, without destroying the paper. So this is as much as I can do. And this is, um, I think, yeah, semi-transparent, semi-staining semi color. Regarding the gradient test, you can actually see that it separates out um, according to the weight and that, that reddish um, mahogany brown pigment kind of, um, you know, move out faster and goes down much faster. So what, what do I think it, it's, uh, you could use it on most probably trees, tree barks, um, rocks, <laughs> a lot of these are in the desert, sand, or like uh, uh, um, some mountain landscape would be good. If we look at the mixture um, of the uh, colors, when I mix this uh, color together with the 12 colors um, of the color wheel, um, you would actually see that it's pretty similar. The, the, the um, mixture, how it changes, how the colors mix, uh, it's pretty close to like a, a burnt sienna or like a brownish orange color. So um, it, if, you, if you look at its effect on the uh, warmer colors, the yellow, the orange and the red, um, and even the green gold, you don't really see much. It just, everything just looks a, a little bit more brown or a little bit more orangey. But when you, when you look at the um, cooler colors, um, like the, the magenta um, and the purple, you get like a brown. And then when you go down, I think this is where the color shines, uh, where you actually mix with uh, the blues, like the um, ultramarine, the um, cerulean, the uh, turquoise and the green. You get like a host of uh, gray because that's a neutralization with the, yeah, with, the, with the blues. So you get these gray and dark blues. And I think this, this gray with the cerulean blue is beautiful. 
and even the uh, turquoise over here so you get this like like really nice olive color and and for the with the phthalo green you get like a brown and you even get olives and, and dark green i mean dark dark color so it's it's really nice um you can think of it as like a burnt sienna it, it does give you that similar effect and if we look at the similar colors i'm looking at um for this tool i'm actually looking at the colors that's in the super granulating series um, and we have the volcano orange which is um it's an orange as well um but it is a little bit more coral the color is coral color um this is a little bit more burnt sienna color the desert brown sorry i misspelled it to desert brown what am i thinking <laughs> but um the desert brown is actually a little bit more yellowish so there are actually some differences in the pigments used which is why you know which is why it has this difference difference and i think it kind of looked pretty similar to the daniel smith bronzite genuine i happen to have this color um, except that bronzite genuine actually kind of sparkle um in you know it it has this metallic mika kind of um, uh, look so it's a little bit different in that sense but um, I think the closest, it doesn't have a very close color but I would actually use it like a burnt sienna so this color in fact to me um, it's more like a um, in be it's like a it's like a burnt sienna that, that kind of separates out into, into yellow so you can use it like a burnt sienna it's a red leaning brown um, and I don't see it as being orange um, although uh, yeah it's probably more orange than the uh, desert brown um, but it's definitely to me a, a more brown color so how do you make it um, you mix mahogany brown with the volcano yellow and this is what you get and um, here's like I try to use a little bit more of the mahogany brown over here and less uh, more the volcano uh, yellow um, and I think I can I can get something pretty I think it's pretty similar quite similar okay so yeah let's go and see how I actually use this in a drawing um, a short front painting so this is the painting that I did, uh, it's a short front drawing that I did um, of this place called, called La Tienda um, and um, I'm, in fact I use it um, around the shop because this shop is mainly um, orange in colour um, like a brown ochre orange colour so I, I really just use it all around and actually what I did was mix it uh, with the brown, uh, with the blue I think probably around here and also you know when the areas are it's darker um, and maybe on a car and I think I also probably also mix it with the greens um, giving you this uh, like olivey green over here um, so far I think I, it's a it's a quite an interesting color to use but I I would suggest actually using it more diluted because then you could see the separation um, if not it's just gonna look a little bit kind of a it's more homogeneous um, it doesn't kind of it doesn't separate out like like what other colors are it's not as like separating as the other colors i would not get this color because i already have these two so i can easily mix them if you are interested to get a burnt sienna that would, would separate and there's a little bit of that brown that that yellow uh, the yellow particles uh, separation you can you can consider buying this um, if, if you do not have a mahogany brown um, and volcano yellow Okay, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed today's um, um, video about Desert Orange. And uh, yeah, and if you like to see similar content, uh, do subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. It's probably another desert color, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.